I've, I've heard you speak several times and you've come to our um, law firm and, and helped educate our lawyers as they're dealing with these issues in the courtroom. And you've talked about hot chemotherapy. And can you tell me just in a layman's term what that is and what that process is? After mesothelioma is removed, from our studies we understand that the most likely place it may come back is just where we took it out. So even though we don't see any cells left behind, that's where they tend to recur. And so we've, we've focused radiation in that way after surgery and, and uh, intravenous chemotherapy. But over the last decade, we've developed a technique where we instill in the chest at the time of surgery, after the tumor has been removed, chemotherapy, uh, initially a single drug to prove its safety, uh, and now we have a double drug and soon be, hopefully be having a triple drug therapy regimen that is meant at the time of surgery to eradicate as much as possible these remaining microscopic cells. And uh, we feel that the future for, for this type of treatment is, is uh, very bright and it's really established a new platform, a new type of therapy that mesothelioma patients can benefit from. And you do that while the surgery for removing the cancer to start with is taking place. That's right. So once the surgery is once the surgery to remove the tumor, which may either be removing the tumor off the lung, what's called a pleurectomy, or it might be actually removing the entire lung, the extra pleural pneumonectomy. Either one of those procedures, as long as it reduces the disease to a microscopic level, I meaning we can't see any left. Uh, is a starting point to then at that time during the surgery but after the removal to give the heated chemotherapy usually for an hour. That's cutting edge. That's cutting